All right, it's uh, about 20 after 2, and I got everything put away again. The uh, van is all locked up. Going to hop on the bike, and I'm going to ride over to the headwaters of the Mississippi. And, and uh, there's going to be other stops uh, in between here and there. So, it's, luckily, it's not as far, long as a ride, as far as a ride as. Uh, this morning as the one over to uh, towards uh, Preacher's, Preacher's Grove and it's uh, not far for this ride so happy about that my legs are actually feeling pretty good I think I'm ready to go again so anyways I'm gonna hop on the bike and let's go ride the bike trails at uh, Itasca State Park again okay there's that sign again Douglas Lodge to the left, Headwaters and Wilderness Drive to the right. And to the right we go. Here's the main park drive. Lake Itasca straight ahead. Yeah, road work ahead. <laughs> yeah, that's what I got. Uh, Working on the parking area, the boat landing's down there too. And that's where the bike rentals is, right over there. We're really doing the work and uh, redoing the bike trail along here too. Coming up the day use area. The swimming beach is over to the left. Okay, it's turn, turned into here. Park here. Got the bike locked up. Let's go take a look uh, around the day use area here. Lake Itasca Amphitheater. It's a really nice amphitheater. You got benches you can sit on, and up here you can just sit on the brick wall there. If you don't want to call it retaining wall. But I've never come here for any uh, for anything. I've never had anything go on while I'm here. Maybe on the weekends they do. I imagine there must be a screen or something behind there. I don't know. But it's really nice. But let's go take a look over uh, this direction. See if there's anything new over there. 
We got a playground here. Swing sets. Hey, I could have rolled the bike down here. <laughs> they got <laughs> bike racks here. And there's see there's a volleyball over there. And there's the swimming beach over there. We got changing the rooms there. Let's look from here. I'm not going to walk over there. <laughs> not with the camera. But this is just a quick look around what it looks like in 2024. It's a really nice swimming beach. Back by the amphitheater again. But I remember when I was a kid, there was, uh, before the amphitheater was here, there was like a little, uh, what you want to call it, like a small little cafe we could get like a burgers and stuff there's a building there man alive that's gone and they put in the nice amphitheater that's one of the memories i have from this location so i remember yeah you could get i think ice cream in there too you know just things like that small stuff a quick look at the day use area. I'm going to walk down further that direction. Playground, museum, picnic shelter. We're going that way. That's one heck of a big picnic shelter. <laughs> Heavy duty. <laughs> Man, oh hey, that's a log picnic shelter. Man, look at that. Beautiful. The museum over that direction. Lakeside Museum. to ask a story. It tells all about uh, the history around uh, Lake Itasca and uh, the area of Itasca State Park. I remember when uh, when I was a kid, there was nothing in this, <laughs> nothing like this, in this uh, building. They had like uh, chairs set up and stuff where they could have, uh, you know, a ranger programs in, indoors if they needed to. Wow, it's cut in a 1951. Oh, a 200 year old tree. Wow. There's outside here, they have the outside uh, road ranger program. Would be. And I've never, not that I can recall, I don't think I've ever come to a ranger program here either. <laughs> There's the Lakeside Museum. And that path goes to the headwaters. That's the footpath. Headwaters over in that direction, but I'm gonna walk back and oh no wait, there's one more thing I'm gonna look at up there. One more thing here, I almost forgot. Gosh. <laughs> I 
Wegmans store ruins right up there. Okay, interesting to see how this looks now. <laughs> okay, so this is the where the cabin was. Right in there you can see part of the corner of the wall. Oh man. Really can't see anything from here. Oh wow. Yeah. Man, it's all the Wow. Kind of like a hole in the ground now there. That's about basically all that's left. Now I remember when the walls were all around it when I was a kid. <laughs> well, I can see some of the timber that was used uh, for the floor. Man, I remember how it used to be and then like coming here regularly you know, we always have to check and see how far it's how much it's changed <laughs> oh yeah look at that <laughs> It's almost gone. There you can see some kind of moss growing on it. And this is a replica of the original building, how it looked. Built in 1977. There's the replica. And there's the original. <laughs> okay. Now I'll think um i think i'm gonna head back to the bike i still want to look at the indian mounds that's down that way i don't re recall how far it is though i don't think it's too far though but i'll probably ride the bike over i'm gonna take a look at my map and decide if i should just walk there or ride the bike to the, the indian mounds all right all set to go I'm gonna head back on the bike trail and head over towards uh, the Indian Mounds is uh, the next stop. Just down that way is a little ways.
Huh, I don't have a bike rack anywhere here, so find some place to start here. That'll do it. Just gonna be a quick stop here. Now let's go see what the Indian mounds look like in 2024. They're on the other side of the fences here. Really hard to see. So overgrown. I, got, I can see the right in there a mound. Hmm. This is a long mound here. Yeah, there's a big mound there. Yeah, look at that. There we go. Yeah, there's one there. Hmm. Another one right there. Okay. Right where I left it. Okay, and hop on it and continue down the trail. And I think the headwaters is the next uh, stop. I don't think there's anything in between here and there, so. Headwaters. Well, that sucks. Can't bring the bike there. <laughs> okay, got uh, the bike locked up. No bicycle beyond this point. Heading to the headwaters of the Mississippi River. Wow, there it is, right there. <laughs> and there it is. Yeah. 
Enrique Tesca. The Tesca State Park. Pretty high, it seems like. <laughs> With all the rain we've had, so it's not surprising. Nor normally, I walk down uh, all the way to the where the visitor center is down there. I don't think I'm going to do it today. Yeah, I'm wearing my shorts. I think tomorrow I'm going to. I'll be driving the van to go towards the Wilderness Drive. I think I'll have my uh, sw swimming trunks on tomorrow, and then I'll take and walk uh, down there. Today I'm just going to take and walk on the boardwalk over there. Let's see, you, cut, you walk, start down there and walk around here. But anyways, that open area right there, that's the natural source of the Mississippi. But they, no man-made one is over there because it's more convenient, I guess. <laughs> but the actual source of it is right there. Same lake though, just a little ways over. And even on normal rainfall years, it, there's some areas where it can be kind of uh, deep. <laughs> so I don't know what it's going to be like. <laughs> so that's why tomorrow I'm going to wear my swimming trunks and come walk it. Coming up to the visitor center and the breeze. <laughs> mm -hmm. Headwaters Cafe open. Now let's see, hope they have what I want. <laughs> yes, they had what I wanted. Huckleberry ice cream in a waffle cone. I hit the spot and that was good. <laughs> Anyways, let's head back towards the And this is where I'm going to be tomorrow. I plan on walking down here. This is where I'll be coming up at. From the headwaters to here. There it is, the Mississippi. The Mississippi River. Oh, it's flowing pretty good here. Wow. <laughs> Okay, back at the bike. I'm going to take and hop on the bike and ride back to camp. I wonder what time it is. Gotta take a look. It's a quarter after four right now. All right, I'm gonna head back to camp. So, I'll see you there.
Okay, not back at camp uh, yet, but on the way back, remember on the way down, I saw that sign that uh, pointed to the Indian mounds? You know, after I had already stopped up the, at the other location, the other spot, and I came back on the trail and then saw the sign that said Indian mounds. I came down here and on the way back to see where it looked like, and they do have uh, bike racks here, and the Indian mounds are that way. So what I did, I had to come off the bike trail, went up into the car parking lot, and went over there. That's all right too, I guess. But <laughs> but they do have uh, along the bike trail. Just stay on the trail, and then uh, it comes right here to where the bike racks are, and then you just walk in there. Okay, I just wanted to do that. So the next uh, should be back yet. Uh, I'm heading back to camp now. So <laughs> all right, see you later. Okay, check that. <laughs> I saw this place uh, on my way down from the campground, on my way to the headwaters. I didn't stop, I just kept going. But the Pine Ridge Campground is just right over there. They have a council ring, they call it, here. <laughs> right along the bike trail. And of course, bike racks came from that direction from the headwaters heading that way to Pine Ridge of course today I went past the, the day use area I was right down there too so I don't think it's too much further if I remember right okay this time I'll see you back at camp <laughs> all right back at camp I already got the bike locked up uh. To get back from the headwaters from where I parked uh, over to here took, uh, what was it, 20 minutes about? And that's even with those uh, stops, so that wasn't bad. So anyways, right now I'm just, it's, uh, what is it, about 20 to 5 now, something like that, quarter to, something like that. But anyways, just going to sit here and relax for a while, and after a while uh, I'm going to get the campfire going. And I'm, I'm going to either uh, roast uh, brats or make um, hamburgers with the, you know, on the iron, uh, the cast iron uh, pan. I'm not sure which yet. I'm gonna do one or the other tonight and one or the other tomorrow, so. Okay, so I'm gonna take it easy for a while and just relax and talk to you later.